Hey friends, this is Kim and I am just here to welcome you to Maker Studio. I'm so happy that you're here and I can't wait to show you what we're going to make today because it's fun. It's perfect for a little gift giving or for Easter. Um, you can use it for stocking stuffers at Christmas. I mean, all year round, this is just a wonderful gift idea or you can use it to get organized for yourself in style, which is always more fun. But um, like I said, my name is Kim. I normally am vlogging over at Salvaged Living where I do lots of easy DIY and home decor for Life at Home Redeemed. But today I'm taking over Maker Studio just to share a little craft with you guys to talk about some of the stencils and some of the paints that they have that I love and adore. And today I'm going to show you what we're going to be using and then I will definitely flip the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. If you have any questions I want to hear in the comments, please introduce yourself. I love to see where you guys are coming from, what you're up to, if you've tried these stencils, if you've tried these techniques. Um, and I'd like to hear what your ideas would be because I think we're all a big creative crafting community and your ideas are important and they're good and they give me ideas and we can just feed off each other. So make sure you tell me all of that in the comments. All right, first of all, what we're gonna be decorating today is a little makeup bag, little organizing pouch, whatever you wanna call it. And you can buy these as blank canvases on Maker Studio, okay? So they're little, just little zipper pouches little canvas pouches, they're precious. You can do five million things with these. Your kids can take them and put their toys in them or your daughter can put her makeup in it. You can put jewelry, they're great for traveling and um, packages and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna make this over with a little spring feel today. We're gonna be using gel art inks because this is what you would wanna use if you're gonna work with fabric. This is permanent on fabric after you heat set it and so this is what you're going to want to do, okay? You guys, we're going to use some fun spring colors. We're also going to do one little extra step to this little bag with one step paint. I'm using black one step paint. Sounds kind of boring. You can use any color you want. This is just a great idea on what you can do with some one step paint in this little bag. So I'll show you that in a sec. And then I am actually going to be using this monogram set. It's the circle monogram because if you're a true good southerner, you monogram everything. You have to own this. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. So this is the circle monogram. I love it. If you don't have this one, there's also the alphabet monogram, which is kind of a circular effect, but it's a two-letter monogram. So you kind of have your, your choice of doing a two-letter monogram or a three-letter monogram. I'm using three letters today just because it's fun and it makes it so personal. I think that a personalized gift is always so much fun to receive because it means somebody really thought about you. They really went out of their way to personalize something for you. So if you have this monogram stencil in your stash, you can upgrade any gift you give just about. I mean, ceramic, wood, uh, fabric, with all the different paints that you can use for Maker Studio and this stencil set, you can really personalize so many things. So in my opinion, it's one of the best stencils to have. I also have a little thing of water here that we're going to use, and I have some painter's tape that I'm going to use, as well as just the typical tools that I use, which are some brushes and squeegees and stuff like that. So you guys, tell me where you're watching from, what you're up to, and I'm going to flip that camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is upgrade this little pouch because paint is actually really, you know, it stains your clothes, it stains whatever you put it on. It'll also stain fabric. So I'm going to use the one step paint, shake it up. I usually let it kind of rest upside down. I forgot to do that though. So I'm going to use just a little bit of one step paint and I'm using the black because I want this to have a gray muted feel. And so just by putting some black in this water, it's going to help me dye the fabric. I'm just going to use a little squeegee to kind of scoop some paint out. I actually have a little whisk because I think that's going to help. I'm going to get some of that paint off the squeegee. You just want to get it mixed up really good. And, you know, the more paint you put in your water, the um, stronger the color is going to be. So that's just... A personal choice whatever you want to do there I'm just gonna get this cleaned up a little bit and 
You can pick any of the colors of One Step Paint. To use to dye fabric. You can dye drop cloth, plain fabric, whatever you want to do. Um, it's just a fun way to boost your project a little bit. And these little canvases are really just like a little blank slate. It's going to give this canvas a little bit more of a worn, weathered feel, which I think is so great. I'm going to make this little canvas bag specifically for my daughter for Easter. I think this is going to be so cute tucked in her Easter basket. And I actually think I could even make this for my boys because they have, you know, stuff when they travel. They have toiletries. They have toothbrushes. Just different things that they could put in here. But for me, my kids are, my youngest is 13. No, he's not 13. He's 12. I was going to make him older than he is. And then my daughter's about to be 17. And so their favorite kind of gifts are gift cards. So I think for Easter, if I were to just stuff this with a gift card, they'd have a cute little pouch, cute little gift card like to their favorite restaurant or shopping place. You guys, how easy was that? I think I have another one. Let me just put this down right here. I want to show you, just so you can see, let me find it. Come here, I have another one that um, you can see the difference. Like it went from this to this in like two seconds. So I love this gray feel. It's worn, it's weathered. Um, you could stuff this as its own little Easter basket with some grass and a gift card and a couple pieces of candy. I'll show you guys it with a picture when we're done. Normally I would just let this dry overnight, but since I'm kind of crafting right here with you guys, I'm going to use my heat gun just to speed up the process because I don't want this fabric wet when I do the next step. So we're just going to heat this up real quick. That's going to be good for now. Um, I suggest making it pretty dry uh, if you do this at home. It's just going to make your letters more crisp because I don't want that paint to bleed on wet fabric when I do the stencil. Put a little insert in there so that you don't bleed through. All right, let me see how wet we are. Do a little bit more. My daughter really loves this color blue and so and I think blue and gray is a really beautiful combo but I think the yellow is too for spring so I'm having a hard time but I think I'm gonna go with the blue it just feels more like her and so what I'm gonna do is cut out her initials now I'm going to show you how easy this is to do so I personally want to leave the letters intact, like all the K's together, all the M's and O's together, um, but we're going to separate that whole circle monogram out. Just get the ones you need. And my daughter and I almost have the same initials, but we don't. It's pretty close. We do if we did a two-letter um, monogram, but with the three, we get off a little bit. 
Do you guys love to monogram everything? Tell me what you would use this monogram on, like all the things you could make of. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to start with the middle initial. And if you're not super well versed on how a three letter initial goes, your last name goes in the center as a bigger letter, and then your first name goes on the left, and your middle name goes on the right. My daughter's name is Katie Mae Jones, so she's going to have a J in the middle. And I want to start with the middle just so I can get it lined up, you know, perfectly. I eyeball everything, but... There we go, we're gonna stick that there. And this is where painter's tape comes in so handy, you guys. If you want to make sure you don't mess up. I just cover up the letters that I don't want to get paint on and it really does help me a bunch. I'm gonna use just a little bit of this. And we're just gonna squeezy that squeegee. Ah, it's not sticking, it's because it's wet, so it's not sticking really well. I'm just gonna press it on there. Takes a very small amount of paint. We have our first letter. All right, so I'm gonna stick those over here. And I'm gonna use my little handy dandy dryer again to get this dry so I can layer on the other letters. All right, I just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna mess up my letters. So just be patient with this. What's gonna happen now is you get to layer on the second one and you can put it straight on top of that center letter and use that as your guide for the next letter because while it's not the exact same letter, they line up accordingly. Does that make sense? Stick it down good, and then if you're like me, again, just use that, that tape to mark out what you're not going to use so that you don't accidentally get your paint where you're not wanting it. Because it is, once you, if you mess up on the fabric, it is a lot harder to get undone and clean up. Just push a good layer through there of this paint. And there we go. We're coming along. I'm gonna get this one dry now. All right, let's do our last. letter and again they just line up so easily once you start with that middle one you can space them out they look great I'm gonna put that tape on there again I like to assembly line stuff like this if I'm gonna make like a, a whole bunch of gifts or something I think it's fun to just Kind of get them all lined out. You can go down the line and do them one by one. It's super fun gift giving for, like I said, Easter baskets or birthdays or, you know, if you're going to give a gift card, why not give it in a cute little pouch to go with it instead of the store-bought one that has initials. It just takes it up a notch, makes it feel a lot more personal. So... 
ta-da! So I'm going to show you guys how to style this and make it perfect for gift giving in just a minute. But until then, enjoy! And thanks for hanging out with me today, guys.